Skip it up, bo. Scoop it up, da ba. Scoop it up, beep ba. Boo. Scoop it up, da ba. Boo. 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 That was Will's mating call. Yes, any any uh, ladies out there? <laughs> trying ladies! To, uh, trying, to, trying to mate? Trying to get this... That sounded disgusting. I did not like how I said that. <laughs> it's okay. You can you trying to you can, mate? No, 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 no. You can redeem yourself if you just jump off the edge. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna walk off. GG. Yeah. So wait, what were we talking about right before we hit record? We were just talking about tattoos. 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 How many tattoos do you have, Connor? I have sixteen. Six. Wait, really? I have sixteen tattoos. That is a decent amount of tattoos. I have sixteen, my tattoo. Tattoos, tattoos. How many tattoos? How many tattoos do I have, Connor? You got. I have zero tattoos. You have zero tattoos. Zero. I'm so okay. Okay, so real talk. I Dude, am. First tattoo is the biggest thing. It's it's. it's I've heard that. It's the it's the cross into the commitment zone, you know, like it's like like if you can do that one tattoo, then you're gonna be you like can, so if, excited to get more that it's just gonna happen. I mean, and you're partially gonna, and yes, like and once, it becomes addictive, like, as people say. Well, partially, yeah. Like once you get your first tattoo, you look at it and you're like, usually you're like, oh my god, that was amazing. Like I'm so ready for more. Like this mm -hmm. looks amazing. I'm so happy. Like hopefully feels good to mark my body. Hopefully you're happy about the outcome. But mm -hmm. also, what I was saying is like. Once you Whoa. cross that plane... Wait. We've never been to level four, have we? Four? We've never been to the casino level. I heard the casino level's trash. Let's go! <laughs> That's like the least favorite level of everyone. But Which we haven't discovered it. We've only been to three levels so far, so let's go to that one. Lovely views. I hope you can't charge the you getting close to your missing book. Uh, free of charge... Anyway, what I was going to say is, the first tattoo, once you cross that threshold of, like, I have marked my body, there is ink in my skin, and there's no going back, mm -hmm. then you get into this mindset that's like, you know, I get a big old dick on my left arm, what's a big old dick on my right arm going to do, you know? Yeah, I mean, like, I, yeah, I mean, it's, it's marking your body, I feel like, I'd like, I don't know, I don't know, I... I, I am a I am a one thousand and hundred percent firm believer that as long as you go in with the right mindset, as long as you're not going in with like I'm getting this tattoo to spite someone, or I'm getting this tattoo because I like this thing right now, but I might not like it ever. Mm -hmm. Like if you go in with the right mindset and you you fully understand that it's permanent, then fucking go for it. I mean, it's like who who. Getting a tattoo is marking your body, and it's it's making you the most you. Yeah, it's it's, it's it's once you get a tattoo, with every tattoo, you are more you than you have ever been. It's taking your decisions and making them your body. Yeah, and I actually wrote a paper this semester about tattoos um, for my English 400 class, the class that I was telling you about with uh, the art mural wall. Uh huh. Um, and a large portion of my uh, paper was oh. based around this idea that, like, uh, sh shit, what was I saying? I completely, like, about the art mural. Full on, no, I, I had the idea as I was going in, and I lost it when I was building up to it. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the fact that tattoos are, like, so popular. Like, so much more popular than they've ever been with this generation. Mm -hmm. And that's because we live in a society with millennials that, like, we've grown up with the internet and social media and stuff. And we're, we're faced with so many challenges with society, you know, like the economy oh. and so many things, like, that we, that our generation is dealing with that a lot of other generations have never dealt with as, like, severe I suppose. I mean, the Great Depression and... I mean, like, like as far as, like, internet-related things and, like... It's very like it's very in the forefront of our mind and... Yeah, like, we... And the internet and society are very yeah. aware. I don't, I don't mean to, like, say that we're... 
special in a more difficult situation than anyone else has been that's not what I was saying I, I was more gearing towards um, like we've grown up with this idea that we need to constantly solidify our identity you know, that's what social media is. We're just building our identity. We're saying, you know, this mm-hmm. is who I am. This very, is, what, very I, true. Very, this very is true. what I'm into, you know. This is what you're into. I like what you're into. I follow what you're into because it helps me realize who I'm into, that kind of thing. So, like, mm-hmm. you follow that idea and, uh, you know, it's just sometimes you'd like to take a needle and you just stab your skin a bunch and then you look in the mirror and it's just, just a big old set of floppy tits. Right there on your leg. <clears throat> if you choose to put floppy tits on your leg. Yeah, just I want to go on record. All 16 of my tattoos are various designs of floppy tits. Yeah, like some some are, some are loose but small. Some are big and very floppy. Others are neither. Small and very precise, yet... You can tell gravity has been there. Mm-hmm. Very, just... very thin, very loose, very paper-like tits. But floppy down. nonetheless. Floppy nonetheless. Floppy yeah, nonetheless. Yeah, flops. They're more like ribbons. Yeah. Than so floating in the wind. When people meet me and they're like, hey, what's up? I'm like, shut up, look at these floppy tits. Back when you have collected at least ten. Shit. What? This is... Bad we've gotten news. more than ten. This is bad news. We only have, oh, well, it's we because have five we've, like, to spend. Because we've spent some on like building the worlds. Shit. What is that guy sleeping there? Go back. Hold on. Go back. Okay. It's like, a, it's like a dude just sleeping in the middle of the path. This guy? Yeah. What's what's he doing? Oh my God. He's a boss. He's a he's, <laughs> he's gonna fight me. He's pissed. All right, yeah, do you want to go back to the first world like I suggested? I guess so. Like 900 billion thousand Fuck. 840 years ago? Yeah, we can do that. Wait, what's going on? Well, I gotta use the cloaking device to get past this. Lasers! Since when did you get the cloaking device? Like right here. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't paying attention. That's okay, that's okay. I still want to get a tattoo, though, and, and, I don't know. They're, they're, we, My mom wants to get a tattoo. Your mom wants, dude, you've convinced her. You've done that. I remember when, when, when you first got some of your tattoos, she was, like, so disappointed every time you got a new tattoo. And, I know. And, 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 now, and now she wants to get, get a, a fucking tattoo. tattoo. Now she has to get past my stepdad. My, oh my like, god, Bob, bro, homie don't want to get a... Dude, homie is not about that. Like, homie has been like, if you get a tattoo, I will divorce you. And like, I will obviously... Th- oh my god, that's exactly Obviously, what he like, he's... That's exactly obviously, what he he's not being serious, but also, like, dude, if my mom got a tattoo, he would just feel like he's lost all authority in our household. <laughs> And what authority did he have? And I he know! Had, he had nothing. You want to know what my mom's tattoo idea is for? What? My fucking dead grandpa! Oh, uh, well, I mean, that's not a... That's... I mean, that's great. I, I mean, like, No, that's it, awesome! Why would Bob be... Bro homie man be against that? Bob is... Bro homie is... Wait, what the shit? Why did oh, I... Oh, was that? Oh, it just showed me where level three was. That's so stupid. I, look. Get out there of it here. Is. Get out of that pumpkin bullshit. We don't care about that here. Find those. Wait, is that what? Is that the? I hope it's the way to level one. Is that the way that you're supposed to go? That is silly. That yeah, is it's, silly. it's so stupid. It's just dummy shit. Dumb that dumb is dumb. silly. I mean, he, he's he's just ignorant towards tattoos, obviously, it's, right? And it's it's not his fault. It's it's one thousand percent the way he was raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean. I mean, it's partially his if, fault because he if, could open his mind, if, but, if, if, I mean, he's opened yeah. his mind as much as he thinks his capacity could be just because I, he's, he's, you know, he loves me, and mm-hmm. he is so proud of me with everything I've done, but I'm mm-hmm. walking around with 16 tattoos, so, like, that's as far as he's willing to go. I mean, hey, hey, my dude, if you, if you, if you turned around and you were like, hey, Bob, I'm gay, he would be like, get out! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Bob, uh, I was just hanging out the other day, and I realized I really like Dick. Dick ain't so bad. And he's like, <gasps> give me your car. Get it's, out of here. It's, it's hard to change. It's hard to change who you are, and it's hard to accept who other people are, because accepting who other people are is to also accept who you are. And if you're not uncomfortable, if you're uncomfortable with someone being gay, then you're uncomfortable with yourself being a little gay. Yeah. And we're all a little gay, well, my it's, dude. Well, it's also, like, it's just this idea that 
like you have this set idea of who you are Mm -hmm. and in your mind like to a certain extent who you are is the best you could be Mm -hmm. and so when people don't fall in line of who you are it just feels wrong Mm -hmm. in a way so he's like I'm straight I got clean skin I'm the man I'm the way Jesus made me yeah, I mean, I don't even know how religious my parents are. Like, my mom says she's religious, but she, she I mean, she, she, she just has ideals, but mm-hmm. she, she's not like yeah, no, a, we're, we're, yeah, a like follower of you know any yeah, sort of yeah, religion. Yeah, yeah, the whole but organized like, religion thing. But like, yeah, so like, if 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 my mom got a tattoo, my dude. I don't even want to know. But I, I straight up, I told my mom. I looked her dead in the eyes, and I was like, Mom, do it. I don't give a shit what he says. You should, she should do it. Do it and do deal it. with the consequences later. What's he gonna do? Kick you out? Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right. Oh like if he did, <laughs> I come home from school and she's like, "Uh, honey, you gotta meet me at this address on the side of the road because we're living in a box right now." <laughs> Hell yeah, box life. Dude, I'm down. I'm down for box life. If it's for the tats. For the tap, for the tap, for the tap, for the for the tap, for the tap, for the tap. So, um, I know you've been like, you've been going, you're, like, talking about the game right now. Just, you are not going the right way. This is a one-way street. You, you have done this before. I think I've done this before. You need to go back to where you were, because. Uh, is this really a one-way street? There's nothing else over here? Yeah, this is just like the Shovel Knight bullshit. Um, the, you want to go... Look, uh, wait, d- click the click the, click the, the sticky stick. What? Look up. Where do you want to go? Up there? No. Look at that. You want to go up there, like to the left. Yeah, that one. What is that? I think that's just background fancy shit. That looks really... Can I communicate, <laughs> can I communicate with it? <laughs> Hello! Hello, Big Mountain. Hello! Do you remember the Grinch? Like, like uh, Jim Carrey Grinch? Sure, yeah. Live action thing? Yeah, sure. It was very. Was that Jim Carrey? That was Jim Carrey. Was it? I didn't, it was Jim Carrey. I didn't know about this until I saw a tweet about it. I can't. But okay. there's a part in his cave where he's yelling and he's like testing the echo. Mm-hmm. And he yells, I'm an idiot! And the echo comes back and goes, you're an idiot. <laughs> I do remember that. <laughs> I didn't realize that for so long until I saw a Twitter thing about it, and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh my god, that is so funny. Yeah, that was really funny. Um, uh, oh, the fucking hiccups. Uh, what were we talking about? Tattoos. This is the tattoo episode. Have we talked about tattoos recently? Tattoo time. Have we... T- we talked about tattoos like in detail all the time before. Oh no, I was asking you what what's your idea? Because I know you've had you had like the scar idea. The scar, the scar Are is you what, still on the scar idea. The scar idea has I, been I just my... want to I just want to formally apologize because I kind of took the scar idea spot. With, what do you mean? With one of my tats, but I know you never were like what like that one. This this spot. Oh no yeah yeah yeah. I was thinking I don't want to do that spot anymore. I want to do it right here on my on my wrist. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, like like so more, I, more, more more like more like yeah like one I'm, of, the, one I'm of those glad two. that when I when I didn't take that spot, but when I got this spot, you weren't like oh my god I can't do that spot anymore. Like a fucking what is fucking? There's only so many spots. Everyone's there's been people who have tattooed their entire fucking body. Like I can't the spot is not. I actually have the, a, I have the, tattoos like certain spots that are like. I've positioned where they're as close together as they could be, mm-hmm. but I'm kind of bummed because like it kind of ruins like the space around them. That's why I've always been like that's what I was worried about like your your sort of thought process. Ooh, look, this is a new spot. I yeah, I mean through. like I have so many spots like I, you know how I've always wanted to do like patches and shit. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh shit! This is new. Yeah, yeah, we're going. We're going to whoa! Hey, buddy. This is crazy. We've never had to. We've never been able to do this before. How do I get past this? Um, body slam. There's other places I can go this way. Oh wait, the fire. Right. Do you have to like get down to like? No, you got the. You got the. You didn't get the thing. You got the. You got the butterfly. Oh. Ah. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry about that. 
Oh, you're out of shits. Shit. Okay. Oh, you got it back. How'd you do that? Waited. Does it just come back on its own? I think so, yeah. Jump! Get out of here, you ice block bitch. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I want to I wanna do the, the, the scar tattoo thing, like, on that spot on my so wrist. So you're still on the, the that design, like, just not the, not the same spot? Yeah, I mean, well, like, th this spot I feel like is just too upfront to people at the point, because it's going to be like, oh, everyone's going to notice that is on my hand right now. So I want to just <laughs> lower it a little bit on my wrist so it's, it's not as obvious, but also I can still see it and it's also still very, very much like, well, like it's it's very prominent. Two things. One, funny, this, the tattoo that my mom wants to get is on the wrist where you were thinking. Whoa, exactly oh my god. I, I can't do it anymore because she's doing it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, second, with an, like, yes, the tattoo's gonna stand out, <clears throat> but with the idea as small as you're thinking, whether it's on your hand or your wrist will not stand out any more than the other. I mm -hmm. promise you. It's going to be seen same amount of times. It's such a small idea. Like, so many people don't even notice the little tiny one on my hand just because of the size. So if you think about this little tiny one being my first tattoo and, like, literally, like, every other bit of my skin is clear, mm -hmm. like, it's... It's pretty minimal. Yeah, and, and like... Only people that get super close to you and people that are like very observant are gonna really notice. So you don't have to worry about like, you know, I don't want to get this spot, I don't want to get this thing here because it's gonna stand out too much. Like that's not, that's not gonna be a problem. I don't think of yours, dude. You are gonna die. Whoa! Shit! 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 <coughs> that, was rough. that was rough right there. Yeah, you almost almost bit the dust. I almost bit that fucking dust. Bite the dust. Dude, if you were a lizard, you could stick your tongue through that shit. Could I? Like, if you were a real ass lizard. That's true. You could stick your tongue through those. That's true. Little... I'm really scared about the pain, honestly, for the tattoos, though. Like, I'm just, like, that's my main, like, I, and, and I'm also concerned about safety, just because I have a friend that does tattoos, and I want them to do it, because I think it'd be cool to just, like, not go into the whole scene and just sort of get it done in someone's room. <laughs> I don't know. It sounds fun to well, do it that way. It sounds fun, but you gotta be, like, smart. I know, but like, like, like but, but like, how, how, how dirty is it gonna get? I don't know. I'm not saying it's dirty, but if, if this friend of yours isn't super duper skilled, mm -hmm. what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a tattoo that looks cool at the time, but lasts half the amount of time, and you're just gonna have to get it redone, or you're just gonna have to live with you, a patchy, shitty tattoo. You think it's gonna last half the time? It depends on how skilled your friend is, how long they've been doing this. Shit. I mean, maybe like a year they've been doing it? Fuck! Yeah. I mean, they might be really good. Also, we should end this episode because we're well over time. Um, but, like, some of my tattoos have been done by less skilled artists. And mm -hmm. you can tell. And they and they fade more off, more they sooner. They fade, and once it heals, you realize that the ink wasn't as planted as strongly as it could have been. You like, know, it's not as, like, they don't it's go, not deep enough? Yeah, like, they do the lines, and they don't go over the lines as much, or they don't go over the lines, like, as hard as they could have done. Mm -hmm. And when, when it heals, you realize that the lines are a lot, like, like weaker. they break around the edges compared to a really well-done tattoo that just looks phenomenal regardless. Fuck, maybe I should, yeah, maybe I should just go, it's just such a simple idea that I'm like, I mean, it, it, would, it would be so much cheaper <clears throat> to get this No, 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 and, and I, I 100% like, understand that, that mindset. Uh -huh. There's so many things that the cheapest route is the best route, uh -huh. but when you're looking at something that's going to be built into your skin, on your physical body for the rest of your life, oh, you want you want some You pay quality. what you get for it. That's 100% how it goes. If you want to drop a shit ton of money on a tattoo, even if you don't think it's really what it's worth, mm -hmm. it's going to count. You are going to get what you pay for, 
and it's gonna last. Mm-hmm. Every tattoo fades, and every tattoo will need to be redone at some point, regardless of who's done it. Mm-hmm. It's just whether how long it lasts, you know, how how well it's done, you know, you get the idea. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I've always wanted to have, like, a, a, like, I've always wanted to be friends with someone who, like, does tattoos, and they could just, like, you know, be like, yo, throw you, yo, yo, you, throw you a this. few bucks, you can test, you know, you could better your skills and tattoo me for cheap. But with that, I would only want to do it for, like, really easy ideas, like, really small shit. So maybe maybe yours would be fine with that it's, kind yeah, of... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a very small, small and, idea. And, it's and four some, lines. And some designs, you can plan around it being... This is the wrong word, but I'm going to use this word just because it's the only thing I can think of. But some ideas, you can plan around them being sloppy. Mm-hmm. Because... You know, if it breaks up when it heals and shit, it might just fit the design. Yeah, and it, might, like, and it would also like, be a very easy one to like redo. Like, the chain on my arm has healed, like, and faded so much more than I would like it to. Mm-hmm. But I can get away with it because it kind of just looks like a dirty, worn chain. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's, that's true, that's true. I haven't thought about something like that. Um, so, like, maybe, like, the, the scar idea that you have, you know, th- that could fit the whole the build of it yeah i mean if it's and if it's just like i don't know like it's a simple looking tattoo so it's not gonna i don't know i don't know i'd like it to be clean i don't know man i don't know i don't have it i don't have any tattoos i don't know what to think about anything and it could also depend on how much your friend is is fuck charging you fuck i can't get past that shit if they're charging you some dirt ass cheap bullshit like 10 bucks then i'd go for it hell yeah drop some 10 bucks get a shitty ass tattoo because you can easily drop another 50, 60 to get oh, it cleaned shit. up, you okay. know, if it's really this that is, bad. I gotta do that. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? yeah. I mean, how much, would it cost, f- how much would it cost if I didn't go get it done? Like, how much would it cost? Like, 60 bucks, I feel like, is the minimum, yeah. The design that you're thinking of is probably gonna fall under the, mim- the minimum. Fuck, I'm dead. But that's just gonna depend on what shop you go to, because each shop and each artist has a different minimum. Okay. If it's an artist working underneath a shop's name, you're gonna follow the shop's minimum. Mm-hmm. If it's an artist that's kind of you know, outside doing their own shit, which is not, you're not gonna find a lot of those in here in Richmond. That's, you're gonna find a lot of like self employed artists in like LA and shit like that. Yeah, there's actually a lot of, uh, there's a lot of independent people here, surprisingly. Really? Yeah, yeah, seriously, I'm not even kidding. Well, I mean, shit, I'm legit, I've always... legit, the, legit, some people were making, made a documentary during my crit today about self employed, non baronary, well, I mean, it's a very yeah, specific, I mean, that's, that's some but... dope shit. I mean, I'm, I, I love my artist. I have a few different artists that I'm that I trust, mm-hmm. and I love them like to death. But I would like like one of my things is I want to get as many tattoos from as many different artists as possible mm-hmm. because each artist is gonna have their own take on it. Mm-hmm. Each artist is gonna have their own touch. You know, you could take a single design to fifty different artists, and honestly, it's gonna look a little different each mm-hmm. time, you know, just because of how they do their shit. I mean, it's a fucking needle, like, drilling into your skin, and they're pulling on with pressure of your skin. Like, oh my god, I'm so scared about that, dude. <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. I'm like, so scared. Um, just... <laughs> I mean, obviously, this isn't something you can do at, like, the mechanical level, but it literally just feels like you're getting pinched over and over again. I'm just so scared. I hate I hate shots. I hate the idea of shots. I just yeah. I I mean, the psychological part is what's getting me. Yeah, and uh, that that. I hope this gets it. Fifty percent of me is saying like honestly, you just gotta get over it. And the other part of me is saying like, bring someone that someone in your life, whether it's like a girl or a guy or your parents or whoever, just bring uh-huh. someone with you that offers you comfort yeah. in, in everyday life, okay. and it goes a million miles, like it okay. really does. Yeah, I was there for your first, no, not to say that I was the one giving you comfort, but I think I was there for your, no, for I'm your sure first tattoo. No, I'm sure, I... <laughs> I filmed you getting. I filmed the moment that you hit that first tattoo. I remember. Yeah, the no, no, no. Moment. Now, okay. So at first, I was like, I don't really remember that. But now, now that I, 
I'm looking. I'm f- like digging into my memory, and I'm remembering all of it. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. I, I remember. I remember you looking down, no, like, looking down, and then you staring up slightly and being like, "That's a different feeling." Yeah. No, I, 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 I 100% remember actually. Now that I like dig deep into my memory and f- f- pull it out, like, yeah, mm-hmm. having you there was was good because like. Even if it's not someone that, like, can literally, like, distract you from the pain. Just something. It literally... (laughs) This is so stupid. It doesn't distract you from the pain, but it does. It just helps. It it does. It just just helps, yeah. yeah. Anything to to take your mind somewhere else is going to go a long way. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. But, yeah, I mean, like, it's just one of those things, like, you... I mean... This is the stupidest thing I've ever thought of in my entire life. You can't swim without getting wet. Yeah, man. There is um, no way around it. It's just right, something right, right. that you have to come I mean, to terms with. I mean, with, with with the amount the amount that I've been desiring changing my body, I feel like tattoo is going to be the easiest thing to do besides dyeing my hair because that's really scary. And and I mean, yeah, they're and both. Then, and then the rest of it. They're, they're both are. They're just both big forms of of a commitment, and you just gotta you just gotta do it. Dude, how are fire, you supposed to fire. do this? I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. I gotta pee. I gotta pee, and we're 25 minutes into this episode. Let's fuck, just it, end, this let's was just, a good episode. This was a good. Let's just com- end this shit. Yeah, let's fucking. I'm gonna, yeah, go, right. t- I'm gonna go take a piss. You can all end right. it. Have fun. Will, Will's going to pee. I'm gonna. I'm actually Bye-bye. gonna control this character for a second. Um. What's going on? What are we doing? What are we doing? Got some shit. Oh, I figured it out. Hold on. Ha ha! Suck on my balls. Wait. What do I do? What the hell's going on? I feel like we need to finish this area before we end the episode. No, I, I like I figured out a new thing. No, I can't end it yet. Who gives a shit? It's a long episode. Whip de doo. I got one health though. Like if I get hit, shit, 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 shit. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I died. All right. Well, you know that's it. We're gonna. We're just gonna poopy Scooby Dooby goo on out of here. So. I'm gonna turn that off. And uh, there we go. Say goodbye, Will. Bye. Goodbye.